Would you like to make a positive difference in your own life and in someone else's life? If you welcome a challenge and if you can spare four hours a week, then consider exploring the opportunities available at Community Torchlight Distress Center of Wellington Dufferin. I have to admit I don't know much about the distress line. I would assume that it would be for people who are in distress looking to talk to someone to help uh, relieve some pressure and ease their mind. People that are maybe suicidal or if they're really stressed out, maybe depression along those lines. Actually my mother used to work for the distress line so I remember her taking calls. Well I used to be a volunteer there so for years, yes. So I know it's wonderful and it was one of the best experiences of my life and I'm actually thinking about doing it again. Volunteers are a very important part of the Distress Centre. Each day, volunteers provide immediate access to help and support. By listening, volunteers provide a safe place for people to express their fears and anxieties and to be themselves. Having someone to turn to can make all the difference. The aim of the Distress Line service is to give emotional support to people when they are in distress and to alleviate loneliness, despair and depression by listening to anyone who feels they have nowhere else to turn. As a volunteer, you will learn how to listen in a caring and non-judgmental way. You'll learn how to empower callers and help them regain a sense of control in their lives. You'll be well trained by experienced experts. Under the supervision of professional staff, you'll receive 32 hours of classroom training prior to taking calls. You will also receive mentoring and ongoing professional support. It was really helpful actually. We did a lot of role playing and learning about what kind of calls that we would get. It was very comprehensive. I think it really prepared me for my experience on the lines. Volunteers have a lot of responsibility on the line. And so it's important that we support them, one, with knowledge, uh, that we have information we can share, that we check in on them and see how they're doing periodically. Through our volunteer training and through the outreach that we do in public education and that kind of thing, we're actually able to teach people some skills to make their relationships better. And in that way, I believe that we are helping the community build its capacity to support everyone. Those skills that they gained and those experiences and the insights that they've had, that doesn't leave. So that goes out into the community and it generates, you know, more people who have that compassion and that perspective. Distress Centre volunteers are community heroes who each year answer over 12,000 calls. We're there for our callers 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Volunteering for me is uh, a way of giving back to the community. For me, it's been an opportunity to give back something I have received. The feeling I get uh, when I volunteer is one of, uh, of, of deep gratitude. I'm, I'm really happy and uh, happy to be able to help. So many of our callers seek just to share their burden with another human being. Our volunteers are there to listen when friends and family can't or won't anymore. The lives they touch are sometimes forever changed by the openness and understanding shown during a painful time. Active listening to me is the ability to um, be really present to the person speaking, to hear what's kind of going on under the surface. To me, active listening is uh, listening with your heart first and then listening with your mind. You can reflect back their thoughts and feelings and help them to kind of move their thoughts forward. Assisting them to find their own solutions can be incredibly gratifying um, and a really good way to just feel like you're connecting to other human beings. Volunteering with Distress Centre Wellington Dufferin helps to develop new friendships and provides valuable insight about who you are. You'll also learn more about your community and available careers within the area. Each year Community Torchlight uh, hosts the walk for suicide awareness and prevention. It allows us to really get out there in the community and not just on the phone but be able to talk to people face to face about their experiences and make sure that people are talking about suicide and how we can help uh, prevent it and help support people who might be struggling with suicidal thoughts and behaviours. So we are really encouraging everybody to get involved in one way or another. Volunteering makes a difference. It offers us answers as well as opportunities. 
Volunteering provides insight about yourself. The volunteers at the Distress Centre, I think, are people who are very compassionate. Um, they've probably had a sense of uh, somebody listening to them in a deep way in their own lives, and therefore they just they want to have an opportunity to pass on that, that listening and that caring to somebody else. I just know for myself that there really is no better feeling than knowing that you're giving something back. If you're interested in performing this vital service, please fill out an application form online or call us today. Get involved. Find us online at dc-wd.org.